Thanks for watching jabscotech.com. I'm Jeff Lander. And I'm Mike Irvin. And today we're going to talk about a diaphragm pump not priming. Now the big thing about these pumps is there's a little check valves in there and if a little bit of debris gets behind that check valve, it's not going to allow the pump to pry because it just can't build up uh, pressure in the head. So what we're going to do is I got one from the field that came in. I haven't taken it apart yet. I'm going to walk you through how I do it. What do you say? Let's do it, Mike. So, I got my handy dandy trusty 5 16 inch uh, nut driver on my cordless drill. Makes life a little bit easier. Um, and you can either use a popsicle stick or a, like a dental pick. I usually use the, uh, the round side of it. Um, be careful of the pointy side because there's rubber components in there and you don't want to uh, damage any of the components or puncture them. Um, so, let me show you. This is how we take it apart. Now, one key note, don't take these all the way out, and I'm going to show you why in a second. Slide this right off. There's a diaphragm kit right there. A little check valve assembly. Give you a little hard time. Now, inside there, you can actually see one's loose. There's a little uh, pop in or uh, kind of like a, a, a seal. If you slide these bolts all the way out, there's a chance that you might lose one of those seals. Um, so just back them out until they stop unthreading and uh, make your life a little bit easier. Now, check valve assembly. There's five, uh, five check valves, one big one in the middle and four on the underside. And I can almost tell you right now, I see where there's an issue. If you look real close, let me get a flashlight. Can you see that right there, Jeff? See that little, uh, how that corner's popped up? I can, Mike. Well, on the inside, I see where the pump accidentally sucked up a little piece of wood. Um, either wood or plastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that up a little bit. See right inside there, that piece of wood? There it is. Stick it. Even the slightest bit of debris will cause the pump not to prime. So, just for giggles, what we'll do is we'll take that flashlight, we'll look in, look in all the other valves, flip it over, and check out these valves here. And it looks like we're good to go. Now, it's worth noting um, that on top here, there is an O-ring. Make sure that's seated properly in the recess and it's not damaged. We'll just go ahead and put that back in. And it uh, looks like we should be good to go on this one. Um, so on the, on the cover assembly, we'll make sure those poppets are down. The big valve goes towards the, uh, the front of the head. Put it in. And this really isn't that difficult. I wouldn't be afraid of doing it. Um, now during reassembly, the, there's a little arrow on the pump head. That's the that's which way the the, the water flows. At the factory, we assault, assemble them so that they're on the right hand side. If you're looking at the pump head, so slide that back in. And let's go this way. Now don't tighten it all the way down at first. I'm just going to sling it right down. So, there you go. We found this itty bitty little piece of wood in there. That's going to make it so that the pump doesn't prime. And uh, hopefully when we reattach this pump to the power supply, um, it'll suck up water. So, so, we're back. We talked about the quad pumps. Um, it's the, the square ones. The triplex, the triangular ones, they have a, a set of three intake diaphragms on them. They actually use Phillips head screws, um, and you can actually back those all the way out. On these ones, don't back them out all the way. Um, 
it'll make your life a little bit more difficult. Just go until they stop unthreading. Um, the triplex ones, they uh, you can back them out all the way and take them right out. But the checking the check valve assembly is actually quite similar. Just go through flashlight, um, maybe some blunt object to get underneath the valves. But if you're having a hard time priming, um, hopefully it's just a little bit, little bit of debris. Um, if the pump's old or you accidentally pump some sort of like chlorine or anything like that, you might go ahead and swap out the check valve assembly. Check out the data sheet tab um, for the model number that's written on the pump um, and pick up the, the check valve assembly at your local marine store. Yeah, Mike, that was a pretty helpful video. So thanks for that, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of JepsCoTech.com. I'm Jeff Lander. And I'm Mike Irving. Come back soon. We'll have some more videos for you.